Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. I'm interacting with you through the menu screen. That is like a new addition, I think. Was it really needed? I don't know, but it's here now. So, why don't we uh, enter my base? There's some... Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh, don't, don't, don't mind my base. Just, just... Oh. I'm still here. Uh. St. Patrick's Day event. You know. Basically, the update where... Hey, here's a thing in a box, and uh, here's what you can do to get more things. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. What are some of those things, you ask? Well, we'll go through all of them. Don't mind my uh, attire, by the way. It's just, it's what I use when I am not recording, of course. So I'm going to use it while recording. Clover conveyors, they're the, the, that, yeah. What do you think they do? They move ores rather quickly, by the way. I don't have all these items, but I have the majority. Clovium mine. If you're life one, get it. If you're life 100,000, don't get it. It's garbage then. Uh, the box. It drops a box on you. So, if you want a box. Get the wall, because it looks cool. Don't get the doge, because it's a doge. Get this, because it's actually okay, considering its size. It's like 1.5 times, I think. So, basically, there you go. Oh, dude, it's $3 now. It's $3. It's $3. Okay. Don't get this. It's... I was like, hey, if it's 350 clovers, it's got to be a decent research point farm. It's not really. I mean, it might be compared to the other ones. The ones that look like this, anyway. It's not good. So, I think it gives you, like, seven points every, like, thousand ore. This seems pretty decent. This is the... You can get a floodlight for 300? I'm pretty sure I have that floodlight, too. Yeah, I do. There we go. Look, this is what you can spend 300 on. To get a cobblestone green floodlight. Leprechaun's Rune. It's uh, pretty decent for the first couple of upgrades. What do you mean by that? It's kind of like a much worse catalyzed star. And this might be the biggest one in question considering it's worth a lot of clovers. And I'll address the extremely simple... If I even have to explain it, ways to get clovers. Which might be OP for some of you. But kind of OP for me at the same time. So, let's see. Oh yeah, a tracker would be nice. So, say, say you take your diamond breech loader, as you do, and just place it here. Get a couple ores. Now they're worth that much. That was like two times. That wasn't two times. And that especially wasn't two times. Basically, it grants a huge upgrade first. And then it gives smaller upgrades over time. And it'll just slowly, slowly upgrade your... Slowly upgrade your ores. Which is useful if your life, you know, won. Otherwise, I mean, no, it can be useful later. Not, not just one. This is actually pretty decent. It's just not going to be useful for someone who is death high. But the definite first upgrade is great, so use it. Last but not least, probably the most useless. It's the, what is it? Clover. You can become a clover. Look at how clover I am now. Okay. Let's go around the map real quick. Now that I've done the review on most of the items. Basically, I did the review on the other ones I didn't have on me. As in, the wall looks nice and the doge is a doge. So, if you like that, then there you go. So, you just find clovers around the map. 
I mean, honestly, if you can find a decent server, you don't want to go on a private server because they're not going to appear, really. But if you find a uh, public server and there's like a life one who doesn't even know what they're doing, like in my case, and someone named Noob as well, you're going to be pretty good at finding clovers. Especially if you got a reset infuser with speed. So you can just go around at light speed. There's also a huge diamond one. Oh, never mind. This guy's clover hunting too. That only means death needs to happen. Never mind. My aim's horrible. If only I had the freeze ray on me. But yeah. You can also scream at some leprechaun guy at there, up there to give you like 20 clovers. Which is only once per day you're able to. My diamond ore is almost a quadrillion now. So there you go. Ones I'd recommend getting. This, if you're low. This, get three of them if you don't want to loop them. And that's kind of it. I mean, I'm going to get the wall when I can just because I don't have it yet. But with every... Oh, there's a 10 right there. There's a big one. With every single event comes an exotic that you can only get from the box. Wow, there's another one. That's pretty rare. <laughs> where? It's pretty rare. What's the point anymore of doing commentary if I can't even talk? Might as well get this. Hey, look at the wall. It's a wall. Look, you, you, can I click? This? No, I can't. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. It's transparent. So you can be like, look at my gold clover, dude. Through the wall. And they'd be like, oh. I mean, that wall's better. Effectively, not swag-wise. Swag levels are rather down. Okay. Basically, you're going after one item. And everything else in the box, you hate. Which isn't true. I would like any undead guardians I get. Because I'm building a collection of them. Including the Zwambi and Thingamajigs, because point farms are obvious. Anything else? Complete garbage. Old Faithful. I remember when I tried to get that when it first came out. And spent about 2,000 Robux on this game and then didn't get it until I was life 2,000. Which, you know, it would have been really useful for me at life 2,000, I think. Not when... Getting what that not when using massive diamond mines into a nature's grip was actually the most effective thing you could do at first to start your setup for your next rebirth, and the old faithful would have completely trumped that. That's when it would have actually been useful. You'll get about 10,000 of those too, those appear a lot more often than the uh, actual exotic. I'll just put these in lucky if I could get this exotic, that'd be nice. I mean that would be nice if it could just if it could just could just land on that. I mean I've already opened 300 infernos and haven't gotten it, so I, I can only imagine. Like I mean I get a wary wall. I mean that's good, right? We can't forget about that or quasar. We also can't forget about that. That that's great too. <sighs> Yes. That's decent, actually, if you're life one. If you're life one, that covers a whole lot of content. That covers a huge majority of the game. So, hey. That's cool. I keep getting... I keep getting good items, but I don't... They're bad. They're all bad. They're all bad, I'm telling you. Why is that even still in the game? The rest of this video is just going to be me complaining. So. I don't know. That's a cool that. Might as well go visit other people's bases. Hey, your base looks like... That's a lot of clovia, clovia mines. Okay, cool. Bye. It's kind of hard to look for clovers when it gives you a blur effect. But I know it's for aesthetic purposes. Usually most people don't go run run around. Oh! Thank you. Thank you.
Oh yes, please. Please give me upgrader. Not the gold one. I'll take that. Thanks. Yes. That's actually decent. That's not so decent. Oh, that's a box. I might as well not get it. I can't, I can't reach it. Oh, yes. Thank you. I need one of those. I don't need one of those. Maybe I should open a spectral box. Good spectral box. Luxury box. I got a luxury. Okay. Wait, I'm pretty sure there's a there's a code for another spectral box. I might as well go and get it. Yes, keep giving me good stuff. I love it. I hope the recording is not getting choppy because I'm doing other stuff. Processor's not built for that. Alright. Oh, yes! All of them. Okay. Uh, oops. No. Uh, hey, four leaf clover, get it. You get a good box. I mean, you saw what I got in it, right? You should certainly have that luck, too. I mean, you'll probably know whether or not I actually get this item, judging just on the thumbnail. Maybe I'll just, or maybe I'll just be like, Epic cool pot of gold unboxing. There it is. I didn't unbox it. Uh, I'll open a few more. If I don't get it, then too bad. I'll try again, maybe tomorrow. Second last box. Oh. Last box. Oh, yes. I own the new exotic if you want to see. Okay, well, I'll call that a wrap. I don't want to see a new exotic unless I have it. And by the way, I got that vampire spore finally. So you you can expect the upgrader portion of the showcase to come very soon. It's a rarity one. That kind of explains it partially. I also have the northern lights now. So I just need one last ambrosia fountain. And then I'll have all the goodies. So until then, keep it keep it rainbow.